Hello YouTube, this is Hemingway1893 saying, if the only hammer you own is a stub hammer, do not watch this video. In fact, never watch a video on my channel ever again. Seriously, what is it, what, what is it about stub hammers? Every professional will tell you they're useless. I will tell you, whoever decided to put your fingers that close to the hitting part is a moron. Anyway, well, if you're like me, you might have one of these hollow wood doors, which I've taken off the uh, mount. I just took the screws out the hinges, and it has that. See uh, where someone's knee hit it, and it did that. You got all this cracking out there. I'm going to show you how I plan to fix it. I'm kind of taking inspiration from, like, old-style automotive bodywork. And hopefully, hopefully, I could restore it to look at least somewhat presentable, you know? So, all right. First thing I've done is I have popped this in, and I'm probably going to have to go score it. So I got my, uh, this little pocket knife, uh, train heating systems, and I'm going to cut this out really quick right here. All right. So you can see right here, I've uh, cut it out and it's got this little ledge right here. What I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna take this knife and I'm gonna wanna very carefully trim along the paint line on this side. I wanna leave one of these sides still having that ledge right there because the way I'm gonna put this in. So you just trim very carefully along it and then get some wood glue I have uh, some of my supplies, wood glue. Apply it to this surface, and then I'll have to get a clamp because I'm just gonna put it under where it belongs, clamp it, let it dry for a little bit. And uh, that's one of my steps right there. I do have uh, now a little bit of an update. I found out it's a little better if you score it along the line and then tear it, because then you'll have a ledge like this and when you put this piece back in the hole, you do that and you curl it up and it has bigger surfaces, you know, more surface area to glue. Just uh, found that out works much better. And you see how I have it clamped with this uh, really small Irwin Quick Grip? Like, I mean, where's the other one? Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty decently small. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I have it clamped in here. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to get some sandpaper. And I want to try to sand all these breaks down right here. And if I can, maybe get others and apply uh, some glue in there. You know, just to hold them. Do some more sanding. And eventually what I will do is I'll just be taking spackle and this old uh, old putty knife scraper thing here. Apply some and uh, smooth it out. That's uh, what I'll be doing up next. Well, here it is now. I've uh, glued in some of these cracks right here. This part's still a little loose, but I feel like the wood glue doesn't hold this particle board as well. Now, thankfully, I uh, not only had these, I had a variety of clamps at my disposal. It's good for a job like this to have a bunch of different sizes, you know. And, uh, of course, all these clamps are really old because in my videos, we have to use a bunch of ancient tools. I got these old uh, pony clamps, these little three-inchers. This Brink and Cotton clamp, this is a much bigger one. Here's a really cool one, a really old one too, made by the Cincinnati Tool Company. Hmm. Kind of like uh, these small tool manufacturers. And then there's this one that I got at the thrift store for I think 90 cents. Uh, obviously really old. It doesn't have any sort of manufacturer mark on it. And I've always been curious as to who made it. So if anybody knows, do please tell me. Anyway, uh, back to the hole. So I've taken inspiration in putting that main part back in from what they used to do with bodywork. I don't know if they do it anymore. 
but where they used to weld a little pin in and they do it with a slide hammer. I've done the same thing with a screw. If I put it in, you'll have to fill the hole and you know what's working is hopefully a video makes it really hard to demonstrate this, but I could put it in, use the screw to move it around. You know, I could put glue on it. it seems like it holds itself pretty good. You know, so then after the glue is dry, you could take the screw out and you'll probably have low spots like this, apply some spackle and go over it. I got some sandpaper there. That's only 220. I might have to get some, you know, bigger grit. Anyway, but that's uh, basically how I plan to do the main repair on this hole is use that method. So I'm just going to put some glue here, there, and along the edges, and uh, let's see how that works. Also, uh, just because I want to mention, I just noticed inside the door, since it's a hollow door, appears to be reinforced with cardboard. Okay. Yeah. This has uh, been done. I tried to sand these down the best I could, uh, just so they're flatter. And I've obviously vacuumed up the sawdust. I pulled out the screws, so you know those will have to be filled in, but I'm probably gonna have to go over that to make it entirely level so it really doesn't matter. It's time to uh, take some spackle or uh, wood filler, it just depends. Uh, fill it in. And for that job, obviously, I have this narrow scraper wood hand. I have no idea how old this one is. Hmm. Well, I know it's like at least 20 because my parents have had it forever. And then I just got a regular, much thicker hide scraper. So I just go over the whole thing. And uh, that's what I'm going to do with that. Well, I got the door taken back out in the garage, and can I just say, what a beautiful autumn day it is outside. Perfect for doing paint work. As you can see, uh, it does still need to be sanded further. This is why you get a power sander, can I just say. Um, but hopefully in a, just a little bit, it'll look a little better. I did attempt to take a blunt needle and make a fake wood grain. I've seen that in some other videos. Just trying to see how it would turn out. Uh, anyway, so I got my paint stuff all ready to go right here. That's the same paint I believe was used on the door. Otherwise, it's very close. Also, I just noticed on my paint stick, 100% uh, wood. What else is it made out of? Eh. Anyway, let's get started with that in a minute. Well, it has been uh, sanded further as well as painted, so now it's flat, and these are the final results. Uh, you can see it a little bit. It's not that noticeable, though. Mm -hmm. See right there? But, um, overall, I don't think it turned out too bad. So definitely a good tactic to use. Um, uh, I mean, we got this in a basement, so I suppose even though you could see it a little bit, it's fine. If this was like up on the first floor, then maybe I would say like switch the doors, you know, bring the good door, you know, upstairs, bring the damaged door in the basement, fix it up like that. That's just what I would do. But for a basement, didn't turn out too bad. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much for watching.